Hello, this is our news broadcast. Thanks for tuning in to the HPS Upload, where we upload the latest news for you to download. To stay up to date on our weekly school news, local sporting events, and community streams, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and ring the bell to never miss a stream. Don't forget, we will see you on Thursday at 9. We would like to thank Micah Kilzer, our producer, for helping us make today's broadcast possible. Now, let's look at this week's weather forecast with Cadence Berry. For Monday, we've got mostly sunny and cool with a high of 56 and a low of 37. On Tuesday, we have mostly cloudy and cool with a high of 62 and a low of 37. On Wednesday, we have showers late, overcast cool with a high of 57 and a low of 48. For Thursday, we have Showers late, overcast, mild, with a high of 68 and a low of 50. On Friday we have a high. On Friday we have showers early, scattered clouds, and cool, with a high of 64 and a low of 40. On Saturday we have 66. On Saturday we have increasing cloudiness, mild. With a high of 66 and a low of 41. On Sunday, we have light showers, overcast, and cool with a high of 60 and a low of 41. I can't get back to Anna. Uh, back to you, Anna. Thank you, Cadence, for that weather report. Now let's go to Colby with sports. Colby, how did our Nighthawks do last week? They did their best. Let's see what they did. Track the Kilder Town Careers. Uh, they had 1600 meter Peyton Tui, third place. Long jump Brian Bertharmi, third place. 3200 uh, meter Sadie Fragtag, third. Bowman Track Meet, 1600 meter Peyton Tui, second place. 4x400 four Hawks, third place. 4x200 Hawks, second. 4x800 Hawks, second. Baseball, Hawks versus Washburn. First game, 13 to 8. Second game, 2 to 1. Hawks versus Beulah. First game, one thirteen, four to nineteen on the second game. I check out some highlights. Tanner Defoe with a great hit brings a run in. They had a little mess up there on the Cardinals. Tyler Wilson brings in a run. Hits all the way out to the outfield. Tyler Wilson with a uh, run, I believe. Maddox, Dogs, no, Maddox, Pierce, brings in a run. Tanner Defoe with a uh, rings one 
run home, I believe. No, it was two. But, okay. Joey Perkins, he stole a base. Awesome slide. Tanner Defoe, uh, a shot to short stop. Makes it home. Sports this week. Tuesday versus Heart River. Away. Saturday versus Washburn. Away. Track. Monday. Dickinson. Away. Tuesday. Bowman. Away. Saturday. Beach. Away. Thank you, Colby. Now let's check out this week's story by Cadence Berry about the library grant. Welcome to this week's news story. For this, we will be going over the Hedinger Education Foundation. For those people that don't know, what is the Hedinger Education Foundation? So the Hedinger Education Foundation is a nonprofit organization. And uh, this organization was... Um, came about many years ago and then it kind of died off and then we brought it back uh, some local community members wanted to kind of bring it back so we brought it back about four years ago this organization is designed to uh, put out scholarships for students as well as help teachers help uh, programs within the school system with monies that uh, the school may not have for their programs. What projects have you helped with? So uh, we have uh, the monies that is donated from community members or um, other entities. This money is uh, put into several different categories. Some of them are scholarships, some of them are for uh, music, art, and drama. We've got field trips, we've got activity fees for students, uh, we also have travel expenses for students, and um, just an all overall general foundation that we also have as well. So as the years have gone by, um, we have given Miss Block uh, money to purchase a her 3D printer for science. It allows the students to apply without the worry of, do I have a plus grade? Do I have um, the right credentials for this? It, it just allows them the freedom to be who they wanna be uh, without that pressure of, hey, I have to go to college in order to get a scholarship. This scholarship is there, so you don't have to do that. This concludes the news story for this week. Thank you, Cadence, for that story. And here are today's announcements. FFA State Convention workouts are tonight starting at 3.30 and will go throughout the evening. Please schedule one to two workouts. All students except seniors need to fill out the Student Handbook and Computer User Agreement for next year. This needs to be done by May 16th or your K-12 account will be locked. See Kira or Mr. J if you have questions. All school library and state library books are due no later than this Thursday. Also, all laptops are required to be returned Thursday as well. As an addition to the HPS upload, elementary students will be joining us to bring you the elementary announcements. Today with me, I have Courtney Shower. Thanks for joining us, Courtney. Thank you, Anna. Welcome to the HPS upload where we upload the latest news for you to download. Here are some today's announcements. Lunch for this week will be Grilled cheese and soup, Tuesday's Sloppy Joe, Wednesday's Chicken Patty, Thursday's French Toast Sticks. And that concludes our elementary announcements for today. Please, stay to, please stand to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
At Henniger Public School, we challenge all to meet their academic and life goals while inspiring lifelong learning. Thank you, Courtney. Nighthawk Nation, my name is Anna Havelka, your news anchor for this week. Thanks for sticking with us through the last few weeks of Funny News Broadcast. I hope you enjoyed this backwards news, courtesy of Micah Kilzer. Also, this is my last time being anchor, so I would like to thank everyone for this opportunity. We will see you tomorrow for Ack Olympics and Thursday at 9 for the last school news of the year and the last homeroom Ack Olympics.